All right, so what we're gonna do now is wash all our parts that we're gonna paint before we start prepping them. If you sand your uh, your body parts or your car before cleaning all that dust and dirt and stuff off, you run the risk of grinding that shit down into the metal of the car or into the paint that you're gonna be painting over. You don't wanna do that, it's gonna cause imperfections. Take 10, 20 minutes, wash everything thoroughly. Right now, I removed the wing, removed the front bumper uh, cover off the vehicle. Um, which I actually should have videotaped it because I had to remove the front tire to get it off and uh, the tire store that I, the shop, the tire shop that put my front tires on um, stripped the lug nuts to shreds. And so it was a, a fun adventure, should have brought you guys along. However, there was so much cursing, YouTube probably wouldn't have allowed me to show it anyway. So I'm gonna use Dawn Dish Soap. You wanna remove all the grease, uh, uh, dust, dirt, everything like that. Um, three times grease cleaning power. So we're gonna use Dawn dish soap, scrub these babies down, and then uh, we'll start prepping these guys, and then um, before we get to the car, okay? I'm pretty sure you guys all know how to wash it, a, a part of a vehicle down, so I don't really need to show you how to do that step by step, do I? All right, first what you do, in front of stores and shit, look at that crack, definitely gotta fix that. All right, so we got done washing the bumper and the wing, and this is what I plan on prepping first before I bring the car in here. That way I have a little more freedom of movement in my garage. Um, what we're going to start with is a 180 grit sandpaper on a dual action uh, sander, okay? On air, um, it can run up to 90 PSI. We're going to start off at 60. I'm not an expert, so I want to kind of start off a little more gentle. That way I don't sand through my freaking wing. The wing and the bumper, from what I understand, are made of ABS plastic, not metal. So it would be a little easier, I suspect, to uh, create higher low spots simply by sanding too rough. Um, so what we start with is 180. That should take off the paint and the clear coat pretty sufficiently. And then we're going to move up to a 320 and then a 400 before we paint. Um, I'll start on the top, flip it over, hit the bottom, and uh, until we get a smooth surface with the 180, then the 320, and then I'll do the bumper with the same way, okay? We'll see what happens, guys. As you can see, that's pretty slow, so we're going to step this up. Okay, that's what we want. And the main thing is to keep moving the whole time. Don't let it sit in one spot.
guys, so I don't even know if you can see me or not. To be honest with you, I don't care. So I had to switch to my electrical at a 5 inch because I had to go down to 120 grit. After hitting it with the 180 on the dual action, there were some spots in the clear coat that were really bad, and the 180 wasn't taking it off. So I had to switch to a 120 grit, um, which is really smooth now to the touch. There's zero roughness. It, it pretty much removed all of that. So, but you got to remember because I went down to a 120, now I got to go back up to a 180 or 240 before going up to 320 or 400. You don't want to skip more than 100, okay? You don't want to go from a 120 to a 320 or else you're going to be hitting a rough surface. You want to keep going up. So, I'm going to go back to a 180, then to a 320, and then a 400 after it's all done. The 400 is going to be either a dry or a wet sand though. I haven't decided yet and that's basically when it's getting ready for primer which I'm not primering these today. Um, so uh, I just want to get them prepped first. Um, so if I don't do a wet sand today I don't have a problem with that. Okay. I just want to get up to a 320 to where they're ready for me to get to the 400. Okay. All right, guys, so as you can see here, this is cracked. Looks like it's cracked here, all the way up here to the support area here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, because it's ABS plastic, I'm gonna use JB Weld Plastic Bonder, all right? I'm gonna squirt it on here and mix it up. I'm gonna put as much in there as I can and then let it hold it tight. Let's get set time is 15 minutes. If you get a mess out here, that's fine because you're going to sand it down anyway, okay? So I'm going to stick all this in here, let it sit for 15 minutes, let it go, make sure it's nice and thawed, and then I'm going to sand it down about a half hour, maybe an hour later, or depending on if the Raiders game starts after the game, right? So let's see how this turns out. Never used this shit before. Oh, okay. All right. That doesn't look like equal parts, does it? All right. That should be enough, I hope. I don't know. Just fucking bond the whole world together, huh? All right. So let's mix all this up. Yeah, I didn't realize it would be so runny. All right. I thought that'd be a little thicker. So I used a little much, but that's okay. And actually, I'm not going to use that. I, when you have the right tools, why not use them? So I got these blades here, which I can get much better inside that thin, narrow crack with this than I can that popsicle stick. So. I know. Everything I do is ghetto as shit, all right? I have all the right tools, but they're never laying around where I need them. And so I use shit like pliers to open plastic instead of a knife. But it works. So who cares, right? You do you. I'll do me. Together we'll live in harmony. All right, so we're going to scoop a little bit here. Let's get that in there. not what I'm looking for, but it's okay. Like I said, we're sanding it down anyway. 
So, really don't matter. The main thing is that it holds, or else you're just wasting your time, and you gotta do it all over again. Now what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to remove any excess, that way it won't be a pain in the ass when I'm sanding it. I think we're in business. So now I get the lovely task of doing this for the next 15 minutes. I doubt you guys want to see that because I don't think YouTube will allow me to show what I'm going to do to entertain myself with my free hand while I'm sitting here waiting. So we'll, uh, we'll be back after this dries up. We'll see how it turns out. sitting here holding this. My nose is fucking burning. It's probably all that dust. Mm -hmm. The epoxy smell. Mm -hmm. the fumes coming off the epoxy. All that awesome PPE that you're wearing. Yeah. On you your head. Me. You know me. sucks. Yeah. But judging by